State health department regulators are looking to revoke a license of Veterans Village of San Diego. Hello and thank you so much for joining us. I am Wale Ali. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. The move from the state health department comes as seven deaths have been tied to the Veterans Village since 2022. The state has issued a temporary suspension order cutting off resources. ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo explains the direct impacts to the village and the series of incidents over the past two years. Monday, the Veterans Village of San Diego had its license for their substance use disorder treatment program suspended. No, I'm not surprised. Why? Because there's been a lot of reports of all kinds of wrongdoing that's been going on there for years. The California Department of Healthcare Services confirmed the temporary suspension and also announced it's issued an accusation and notice of license revocation, citing serious concerns about client safety. Quite frankly, there's a part of me that's kind of surprised that it's taken this long. Zachary Wildy is a Navy veteran who's lived at Veterans Village for about a year receiving mental health treatment. He is not a part of the substance use disorder program that's been suspended but says he's witnessed the mistreatment of veterans on site. I've seen everything f from the mistreatment of veterans fundamentally disrespected, laughed at, harassed. According to the state, between January and October of 2022, there were five deaths at Veterans Village, which prompted an investigation that uncovered health and safety violations. After an agreement was established between the state and Veterans Village in 2023, the state says there were additional deaths in September 2023 and March 2024, and further violations, leading to Monday's suspension. And when we go and we cry for help to these people, it's unheard and, and, and it's um, swept under the rug and it's deflected. Veterans Village sent ABC 10 News a lengthy statement saying their veteran specific programs are fully operational and unaffected by the temporary suspension, saying they are deeply concerned by the state's swift and severe decision adding that it comes as a profound shock to their team. The Department of Healthcare Services says under state law, they're authorized to take this action when violations compromise clients' health and safety. Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.